another quick video. So I have been, I, I believe I coined the term Zettel casting. Uh, it's a play on the word Zettel Kasten, which I am horribly mispronouncing. I know that it's, it's something like Zettel Kasten. Uh, I don't want to talk about Zettel Kasten here. If you've done any research on it, first of all, if you are going to do the research, I'm going to tell you, I don't want you to do the wrong thing. Go read the, the Lumen's actual paper, L-U-H-M-A-N-N dot surge dot S-H. There's a copy of the paper. I don't know who posted this, uh, but you can actually go here and read what Zettelkasten is in the words of the man who invented it. Everybody else is trying to make money off of it and everything. So first of all, go read this if you really want to know, and you can do your own research after that. But so all Zettel casting is, or Zettel casting is, or a Zettel cast, uh, except for the Z, it's Z, it's Zettel, 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 Zettel casting, Zettel casting, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, all it is, is it's this idea of a small, less than 10 minute or so composable bit of video uh, to go with a, 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 it's settled. So it's settled. It literally settled means, so I'll put this here. So, uh, that all, uh, means I should probably do it like this. Uh, that all means, uh, slip. It does not mean index card. It means a slip of paper. And he makes a specific point that say, don't use index cards because it's too thick. <laughs> so if anybody tells you to use index cards, it doesn't read the paper. Uh, it me and then uh, so was it Costin? I think Costin uh, means a uh, box. So what it is, uh, it is so yeah. This is a play on words um, for uh, settle Costin. Okay, and you can like go find all that one all uh, all over the place. Okay, and. So the idea is, is that you make tiny videos and then you compose them together uh, just like you do tiny, you know, Zettel, like Zettel it, uh, slips of paper that you would either put, you know, physically or you would digitally put into GitHub, which I've done in my Zet. So RDBX Rob slash Zet is my Zettelkasten notes repository. And I'm constantly tweaking it and doing different things in there, but it's a really great place to just brain dump and spew everything. And I've taken that same approach now with um, my YouTube casting. And I've always been fighting against big long ones that you chop up versus small ones. And now we've, we've got the automation down. So I just have to click record and then stop. And then once I upload the video, I can associate it automatically with a script through with the accompanying GitHub repo, the uh, description, which gets set to the description with a footer and an identifier and so it refers back to the video and the video refers to uh to the the actual content so that's so when i have a when i do zettel casting the process of zettel casting is having one big long running live stream uh so i'm gonna put it here so i'm gonna put this one big long running uh live stream and then you uh record out uh, less than 10 minute uh, uh, segments with accompanying uh, the text. And that's what you're seeing. That's all. So I'm going to save this. And as soon as I save it, it'll be associated with the video. I just have to upload the videos and they're all ready to go. Uh, I strongly recommend to any other educators out there or would be educators who are technologists who don't want to be overburdened with the what it takes. Uh, the process of Zettel casting was invented by Niklaus Luhmann, yes. So, but the the idea of casting, you know, Zettel casting like this, is, is it's a very quick and dirty way to get what you have to say out there in a digestible way. So if you are at all inclined to, to take your show on the road with your development, or your writing or your career or whatever, uh, it's really nice because you can just turn on the live stream and then when you after you have a nice conversation or you have a debate or something like that, you can like say, hey, let's do a Zettelcast for our conclusion. And then you can click record 
and boom, you get you know, all you know, the studio audience is there, and then you get you get your answer. You know, you get a nice little video that somebody on Twitter or something. And when I post these, it automatically gets notified to everybody. It sends everybody notifications that it came out. The, my only problem with subtle casting right now is it it tends to produce lots of videos. Uh, so uh, lots of videos, which uh, can blow your API quota if you're trying to upload them. So the way I don't do that is I upload, uh, I upload all videos, uh, from, uh, the, the web interface, which doesn't count against your API. And then I run a script, run a script, uh, to sync, uh, the descriptions. And it's, uh, you just have to copy and paste out the unique identifiers into a file and just run it and it'll sync up all the descriptions for all of your Zettelcast videos. It's a super fun process. I might even actually go through it and show you how to do it at some point, but I, this is just a definition of what, of what it is. I really hope it takes off because I want more people with actual skill instead of people who know how to make pretty shiny videos uh, to produce content. And God knows there's a lot of people on YouTube have no business, business producing content <laughs> who produce a lot of it. I would rather the people who actually know what they're talking about and work with it every day would produce more content. May Zettel casting, uh, become the solution for you. If you wish to do that, if you are thinking about doing this and you are a professional who wants to share your skills and you've been doing it in a while in cloud native or cybersecurity or whatever, and you want to figure out how you can get into this, I will personally come to me and I, I will help you. I will do whatever it takes to get you doing it because we need to counter this tide of crap that's coming on YouTube. that has no basis in reality. It's just people conjecturing all over the time, but they actually don't work in it. We need more people to create content that matter <laughs> because they're doing it. Uh, and, most, and so the, the only way we're ever going to get there is if we can make the, cause people who are good, guess what? No, you know, news flash, people who are good don't make YouTube videos and they sure as hell don't make screenshots like this in the front of them. First time you see somebody who spends all their time doing that, you know, immediately not to trust what they have to say. The people you want to listen to are the people who found a way around all that shit and was it, we're able to make videos anyway. And if that is you, if you want to be that person, I am here. I will help you. I will help you because it is my mission in life to get more people who know to produce content instead of people with social media marketing degrees. DistroTube. Bye.